Hi everyone, welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. Um, yesterday on Facebook, I purchased, I uh, posted um, about a new product that I had gotten on eBay and uh, with a picture, I got a gradient sponge brush off of eBay and I love it. And I posted, I was playing with it yesterday and I posted a picture and everybody's like, where's the video? When's the video? Um, so I'm doing the video, I'm doing it today. Um, <laughs> apparently, everybody wants to know that. And that was on the Gel Addicts um, Facebook page. So if you like gel nail polish and you'd like to join our Facebook group, I will put the link in the description box below. It's a lot of fun. Um, we picture, we post pictures of our gel manis, um, gel questions, anything gel related. That's what that group is for. So if you're interested and you want to join, it is a closed group. Just request to join and um, we'll be happy to have you. Um, anyways, this is an awesome um, sponge brush. It's a very good quality. Um, it works super easy. I have never done a gel gradient in my life. Um, I tried once and it just wasn't working out the way I wanted it to look. And basically, you know, I really never followed through with it. I think I was practicing with, you know, the regular makeup sponges that everybody uses for gradients. And then I went and bought, you know, when the gradient brush phase came in, I bought um, a couple of different brushes, I think like three of them, and I never used them. It just looks scary. <laughs> um, so then I saw a video using this, and I thought, oh my gosh, I have to get one of those. It looks like so easy. It is so easy, and these brushes are incredibly inexpensive on eBay. Um, but let me, let's just get into the video. Let me show you. I also purchased a few other things from eBay and I'm going to show you those as well. Um, so let's just get started. Let me show you what I got. <laughs> okay, first I'm going to show you some of the goodies um, that I got. So 12, <laughs> 12 brushes. Oh my gosh. I completely love these. They're the teeny tiny little brushes that I wanted. So, yay. And I think they were like $1.24. So, all right, let's just put that away. <laughs> okay, so then this. I love this little kit. Not fond of the seller. I will link a different seller in the description box below. It came with all these horrible dents in it and I've been round and round about him. I paid like almost $7 for this set, um, which, which you know what, might not be all that, you know, expensive to some people, but you know, since I usually only pay like, you know, pretty much under $3 for everything and mostly in the 99 cent range, I think to pay $7 for almost $7 for something, I mean, I think it was like six ninety something or whatever. But anyway, so $7 for something and have it come not perfect is not acceptable to me. And all I was asking was for a $3 refund, which he kept haggling. First, he's like a dollar. I'm like, no, you know, I paid freaking good money for this. So I'm not happy. Um, anyways, I ended up settling on $250 for our refund, but I just think it's ridiculous and I'm not going, he's not going to get a good review. Not at all. Um, because that's just ridiculous. Um, anyways, it comes with six black and six white. And I put this little poster putty on, which I'm not fond that I put the blue on because you're going to be able to see a little bit through it, but I couldn't find white yesterday. So anyways, this is what I'm going to use um, to show my gradient today. And um, this, I guess you can put on top of here if you just want to like paint it with a little crystal. I don't know. I just painted it on there. But anyway, um, also, look how perfect this is. So here is my, um, my light. And it just fits perfectly in there. Look at that. No mess. It's not going to mess up my light. It's just zoom right in there. Awesome. Completely love it. I was worried about it being too high, but I guess I should have figured it wasn't going to be, but that's really cool. So I love the concept. I am 
super excited to have one of these <laughs> because I was like I was working with um putting these things on popsicle sticks and putting them on paper towels and sliding them in there so it wouldn't make a big mess so I'm glad of that and also what you can do is you can take these because like I said they I don't know they get sticked like the stuff around the edges gets stuck to the paper towels but anyway you can also stick one of these on here and and put that in your lamp too. So, hey, I just got, you know, two good uses from this. So I'm kind of really loving this. And then finally, what I'm going to show you today is here's what the package looked like. I finally got my other one. I specifically ordered it from two different people um, because I didn't want to be waiting forever. I was hoping one of them would arrive super fast and one did arrive super fast and this one just arrived yesterday. So I'm really excited about this tool and this is how they come and it was under three dollars I think it was like 270 something anyways and here's the one that I used and I'm going to show you how I created this gradient with it I'm going to give you a quick little demonstration about how to clean this I'm going to show you um the brushes stay in there really good when you're using the tool and they come out really easy I personally would not recommend pulling on the brush part, but it seems to be in there pretty good. When I was cleaning um, the other one, it, it cleaned up pretty good, but I'm kind of pulling it on this little part right here. It seems to be shoved in there pretty good though, um, but I just wanted to show you that. I already cleaned this yesterday, but what I did was I took some isopropic alcohol. I've got a high alcohol content because that actually cleans up gel polish pretty good. I squirted it on here and I squished it. That's that's not from that. That's from something in the front. I squished it really good into here and I put some more alcohol on it. And I squished it really good into there. Then I ran it under some water and I squeezed out all the water. And then I squished it in the paper towel some more. And when I finally started getting um, little to no color out of it, I put it under the um, water again and I cleaned it with soap. And I squished all the soap out of it and squished all the water out of it. And I squeezed it, squeezed it, squeezed it. And then I dried it on the paper towel until I got no color out of it. And this is it. It's still perfectly good. You know, so it's a really nice it's it's a super soft nice um little sponge i don't have any cosmetic sponge that feels like this you know those regular wedges that you get here i have one right here what's the makeup on it oh maybe it, i don't know Th these ones are just these ones are different i think this one is like a finer sponge than this one because i have tried see now you can see because I have tried um using this with gel and I wasn't fond of it but I love this I love how this works with gel I, I'll show you how because <laughs> I just love this <laughs> so well all right let's stop talking and let me show you how to do this I have this little um this little gradient foot brush that I bought a while back and I didn't know how I was going to use it because it was like so big. I used this a touch um, just to blend in like the very tip a little bit. Um, but that's like the only thing I use this for is just to like smush it in a little bit more. Um, which this one actually is really nice too. This is like really, this one's really nice. I like that. So anyways, again, this is what I'm going to show you how to make today. Today I'm using Wave Gel's Pinkie Pie and the Strawberry Shortcake, and that's what I used on this little, um, little sample here. Pinkie Pie is actually like a darker, brighter pink. Um, it, I don't know why it turned out like that. Maybe because I didn't put enough coats on it, or it just turned out that way underneath strawberry shortcake which is very light um, but this is beautiful actually this is it right here um, with something else over the top of it testing out my bio seedweed gel multi-chrome um, color in metal when I bought this I didn't realize you had to put it over black 
I, I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, um, actually, I, I want it. I want a gift certificate to Bio Seaweed Gel. So um, this is one of the polishes that I... Um, that I purchased and I was testing it on dark pink. It looks pretty. I think it looks pretty. Anyways, whatever. <laughs> I just want to show you that. Um, anyway, so that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to use the gel. And then we have strawberry shortcake, which is a beautiful light pink, which you can tell over there. And that's just the regular lacquer because we're going to use the gel. Um, I just checked. Wave Gel still has their promotional pricing. So each one of these sets where you get um, the gel and the lacquer is still $8.50, $8.50 a set. And the mood colors are $8.50, but they don't come in sets. The mood colors don't. Um, so they're still $8.50. And I've got a 10% off discount code in the description box below. So probably after this video, I'm going shopping some more. <laughs> Um, which brings each set to $7.65, and these are full-size bottles. And they're salon quality. I love the quality. I love the price. You know, I can't even believe that I bought other expensive stuff um, in the past because this is just awesome, and I'm completely addicted. <laughs> Anyways, um, but yeah, I love these. And the description, or the, the code will be in the description box below. Uh, shipping is free to the United States um, on any size order. I think I did notice last time I was on their website, it did say with an order of $5 or more, the shipping was free. Um, but if you buy a nail polish, it's $5. I think they just did that because they started, uh, they have cat eye on there now. And the cat eye magnet is $0.99. Cents. So I'm guessing you're not going to get free shipping if you just order a magnet. Um, but anyway... So all the polishes are good. And they do have cat eye and they do have glow in the dark. Um, cat eye and glow in the dark are a little bit more. I think those are $12 a bottle, but you still get 10% off. So, still a good deal. All right, enough of that. Let's get into how to create this little guy right here. It's that Pinkie Pie right here on the tin foil, And oh, here we go. And I've got this right here. So um, normally when you're doing a nail, you're going to use a base coat. I'm just not going to go through that step right now. Um, so I'm just going to put on strawberry shortcake, one coat of strawberry shortcake. And I apologize that I could not find the white little things, those little white poster tacky things. Now, um, most of Wave Gel's nail polishes I know right now are are becoming more opaque. Um, this one is from a year ago. So um, it's not, um, it needs like about three coats to build the color, but everything else is pretty much almost opaque in one color. So um, anyways, I'm going to cure this and we'll come right back. So now the first coat of pink is cured. So what I did is I went in and I just brushed on the top another bit of this um, light pink. Okay. Then, can I get you in there? Then I took the um, little brush or this little spongy brush and I just dipped it into this pinky pie like that <laughs> okay so that's what I did let's get this stuff out of the way so I can knock everything over all right and let's get you in here all right so then what I did was I just started sponging it on And I'm dabbing it in the middle to kind of blend the two colors right there. Ooh, that's a good gradient right there. Okay, then I just added some more to the bottom. And a little bit up towards the top.
Okay, then um, I think this is where I may have come in with my little brush and just kind of tried to brush a little of the pink down a little bit. This little bitty brush that I like that. How that looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure this. Let me tell you, this is my first gel gradient. I've attempted to do it with those makeup sponges before and I didn't like the outcome. Um, and I've never tried it with when they came out with the gradient brushes. I hadn't tried it yet, which I do own a few different gradient brushes. Um, but when this came out, it looked so easy and I'm like, yeah, I'm trying this. <laughs> and I'm incredibly pleased with the outcome. So now that that is cured, I went in and I put a third coat of this pink on the top. Okay, and then I picked up some more of the Pinkie Pie, and, yep, I dabbed it along the bottom. Ooh, that's so pretty. I don't know why it gives off this weird color on this pink. I'm just guessing. Yeah, I don't know. I just don't know. And, you know, whatever. It looks beautiful. <laughs> It looks beautiful. It's a beautiful gradient. Um, I guess if you don't, if you want it to be the stronger color Pinkie Pie, you can probably um, paint on half and half and then sponge the center. I would probably suggest that. Otherwise, this is what you're going to get. So I'm liking, liking it, liking it, liking it. Let's see, we'll put a little bit more on the bottom. You can always flip your brush over and you know dab 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 to blend it and that's what I did a little bit liking that okay I'm noticing that my brush is soaking up a lot of this um, dark purple polish to get away from that I'm guessing you can um, do it like you what you would mostly do um, I didn't think of it until just now is I probably could have um, probably could have wet it a little bit and then it wouldn't have soaked you know dampened it and then it wouldn't have soaked in so much I'm just trying to get a little bit darker along the bottom here okay and I'm going to twist it around and go back up here a little bit ooh yeah this is coming out a little bit, a little bit longer than the other one did. I can also brush some of the pink down a little bit with my little brush here. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, I like how that turned out. Okay, that's good. Um, Oops, I hope you caught that. Oh, I really hope I wasn't out of camera for the whole thing. Um, But anyways, I just kind of like brought the pink down a little bit with the brush. I'm really liking how that's looking. And um, you can keep going darker over the dark if you want it. Let me just cure this and then maybe I'll darken up the tip one more time. So I'm just going to dab a touch more at the very tip. And you know what? I'm going to call it done, really. I like how that turned out. And I'm going to cure it, and then we'll come back and we'll put a top coat over it. So now we are just going to, um, it's been cured, and I'm just going to go over it oh, <laughs> with this No Wipe Top Coat, which is really like my favorite top coat. I think this is 850 as well. Um, but oh my gosh, I'm such a lazy slug because <laughs> you can get the top and base coat and uh, set together for 850. But I like, I'm just lazy and I don't want to remove that um, sticky top layer. And I think I got a little bubble in there. It usually doesn't bubble. 
it could be the imperfection on the nail as well blah 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 okay but anyways i can't wait to do a manicure on my fingernails with this oh my gosh now the brush is obviously a little bit bigger than my fingernail so probably um something barrier around your finger wouldn't be a bad idea but gel's pretty easy to clean up off the skin as well before you cure it but anyways let me cure this and then we'll come back okay so here's the finished look this is what i just did i think i actually got better this was my first attempt and this is my second attempt wow i just love how this looks i am so excited now that i can finally do a gel gradient I'm completely loving it, and I hope you guys do too. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. I hope you really enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching. Bye for now.